Today we're going to discuss adjusting the high speed valve on your Precision Racing Products parabolic damper. There's a 2.5 mm Allen head right in the center of the low speed adjuster. This is on the bottom side of the damper. Turning this completely clockwise will turn off the high speed. There are six lobes per revolution and two revolutions of adjustment. First we're going to set our low speed because a low speed does influence high speed. High speed does not influence low speed. Find a setting that feels good when you turn the bars normally. Let's say 4 feels right to you. Now we're going to turn up the damper 2 clicks or in this case to a 5. And this is where we will set our high speed. So with the damper 2 clicks over the normal setting we're going to turn the bars quickly and we want the bars to catch. Now if they're catching too much, like in this case, we may want to turn down the high speed. So we will turn clockwise one click. Now this may or may not be enough. We'll feel it and readjust. In this case, it is still too much. We're going to back it off some more. So we're going to turn it clockwise another click. If there isn't enough high speed damping, you will need to turn the Allen wrench counterclockwise to add high speed damping. In the case where you can hit the steering stops when you turn the bars quickly, this is what we would do. So insert the key, turn it counterclockwise, one click until you feel the high speed just start to click in. Once again, we are two clicks on our low speed above our normal setting. Once you have it set so that the high speed is just grabbing a little bit, now we can set it back to our normal ride setting. So in this case, it was a 4. Now at this point, we should be able to turn the bars quickly and not have the high speed grab. This will allow us to steer as quickly as we need to, and the high speed will only kick in when something moves the bars quicker than we can. We hope this was informative.